In today's video, we are back in our 1.19 Let's Play world. And I have some very big plans for this episode. So if you remember in the last episode, we built this nice little fishing hut. And also I did do a little other things off camera. So I added some decorations here and there. Uh, not too much. I did add a chimney. And also I moved all of our stuff from the outside to the inside. So for this video, I have some plans where I want to build a underground storage room. But not just a simple one, a nice big and very beautiful storage room because I want to do some very nice builds. And that means we have to go and farm some diamonds because I want to go and defeat the ender dragon as soon as possible. <coughs> We're going to get all prepared up here. We're going to get some torches going because I want to go mining before we start building. So we're going to need some coal, so I'm going to bring some of that with me and some wood. But yeah, Alright, we're going to go down in the caves. Uh, we're probably going to go explore this cave over here, the one right next to our house. And then see if we can find some diamonds. Okay, there is a lot of mobs over here. We're going to have to deal with all of these mobs, because if not, we're never going to make it down to a low enough level to actually get some diamonds. But there is some coal, which is actually very good. Oh, and this is actually not coal, this is hot, never mind. Hey, what's up Mr. Enderman? How are you doing? That's a nice block you got there. Wait, what does it say on that block? Ah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, that's why you need to subscribe. If not, it's going to kill me. Oh, that was a close one. That was a close one. And we got an enderpel though, which is very, very good. Okay, this cave is actually very nice. We'll be able to build some very nice stuff in here. Oh, and I thought that was emeralds for a second. But yes, uh, this is a very nice cave. Very big. There is a skeleton. So, out. please don't shoot me off the edge. Uh, but I think if we want to get some diamonds, we're going to have to go deeper. So, that means... We've got to go down there. Oh, there's a deep cave down there. I took a lot of damage because <laughs> I just fell off the waterfall. But I think we can actually jump down here. And that's what I'm going to do. Yeet. Aha. Diamonds over there. That was actually very quick. We're very close to the surface. If we can see just up there, there is some light. So I'm not far at all. But that is kind of scary down there. Oh, oh sorry, Mr. Bat. I apologize. Oh, shoot the creeper. Yes, you got it. Oh, we got a disc. And goodbye. There we go. Alright, so, I did see quite a few... Oh, that poor glow squid just died. Quite a few diamonds around here. So, there's some up there. Well, there's one up there, at least. There was one right here, and I think there was some over here somewhere? Yep, over there. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. So, at least we'll have enough for a pickaxe, which is really good. Oh, and a geode. I didn't see that. Okay, so I am back from mining and unfortunately all my tools broke pretty much and almost my pickaxe as well. But that means we get to craft a new pickaxe and this time we're going to use diamonds because I actually got quite a lot of diamonds which is really, really good. There was actually a lot and very close by to our house as well. So let's craft our first diamond pickaxe and boom, there we go. But anyway, now we're going to be focusing on building our underground storage room and it's going to be a very, very big one. So probably the durability of this pickaxe as well is not going to last very long. So I might even just run about quickly, kill a bunch of cows because there's loads everywhere around here and collect loads of sugarcane and then build a temporary enchanting setup because I think that could be a very, very good idea. Oh, that is just perfect. I just got five obsidian from that chest. That means I don't even have to go and mine some obsidian. But it is night time, so I need to have a little nap. Okay, so I have made it home and I've already crafted up the bookshelves. It didn't take me too long, actually. There was plenty of sugar cane around. So let's go ahead here and craft a enchanting table. Enchanting table is made and I also got level 30. By going down in the caves, got some, uh, what's it called? Some redstone and also with the furnaces from the ore that I smelted up. So yeah, anyway, um, let's go ahead and place all of these. And I am very bad at this. <laughs> As you can tell, I can't even make it symmetrical. All right, there we go. Let's break this. Oh, level 28. Of course it is. <laughs> I forgot. You need one more. All right, I think I do have enough. All right, so we're going to get unbreaking. Hopefully we get efficiency four as well. Did we? Oh, Fortune 2. That's actually a very good nice. pickaxe. It's not quite what I wanted, but I did want a Efficiency 4 pickaxe. But hey, we can't be picky. So yeah, I'm going to start on digging out a nice big area underneath here. So we're going to start digging down here. Hopefully don't run into any caves. Well, actually, if we do, it'll make it a lot easier for me and I don't have to dig out as much. Ah, okay. So we ran into a cave right here. And uh, this is actually kind of good because it means we'll have to mine a lot less. I did mine a little bit further than I wanted to. 
Oh, there's a mineshaft right here. Hang on, I need to check this out right now. That is so cool. Well, if we want chains, we know where to come. Wow. So yeah, as I was saying, I did mine a little a bit further down than I actually wanted to because unfortunately, right underneath our base, there is a water cave, like a cave that is completely submerged underwater. And there is a creeper up there, so hopefully he won't come for me. But yeah, we're going to actually just build here, I think. So then I just have to pretty much delete just this big block here hopefully that will be enough but i kind of do want to make like a nice build especially for the se second episode i think that should be a really really good idea oh that's a spawner up there okay we need to go disable it quickly there we go we disabled the spawner there's a oh, i'm so happy this is actually really good oh and a name tag wow if you're wondering why i got nine diamonds it's because i just thought of it um I need a silk touch or at least an efficiency pickaxe because this is going to take way too long just to mine the big area that I want. So I just tried to go down here pretty much to kill loads of mobs. So where we started to build is literally just up there. It's just around the corner here. So I just came down here and noticed that there was diamonds and I found like two lots of diamonds. I think there's some more somewhere. Where was it? Somewhere up here. There we go. Right up there. So I'm going to go get those as well. And uh, then I'll see you guys after I've mined a bit. All right, so guys, I have actually finally managed to mine out a big area and actually up here I managed to use some TNT because I actually did get a decent amount of gunpowder from mining earlier because for some reason in these caves there are just loads and loads of creepers. But yes, so I have actually mined this all out and I also found a geode, but it is 13 blocks wide on uh, each side starting from, I think it's this block, I think if I'm not mistaken. So this one or this one, I forgot now. But yes, so now all we're going to do is actually just start and uh, decorate the whole place. Okay, since the last clip, I have just added a floor in our little storage room over here and I've already set up where I want the chests to be. So it's going to be two levels. I think that's what we could do and it could actually look quite nice, but I'm only going to do it on either side so like one side here is going to have some chests and that side as well because I had an idea of putting like a nice statue or like a nice wall piece on the each wall like either this wall and that wall over there and I think that would look very very nice okay so this is what I have come up with for now so I've done a nice little balcony up here so this is where we're going to go and have the second story of loot room and I'll do exactly the same on the other side but I'll do that all off camera so you guys don't have to see that again but yeah so I'm actually quite pleased with this and if you're wondering what this is this is for later on I want to like make a hole and you just drop down into a water source and we have an elevator either on this side or that side but yeah for now I'm just going to repeat this on this side over here and then we'll have to figure out what we want to do on the top floor okay so this is what I have done so far and I had a little change of plans for the top here I thought what I could do is fill up these walls with like comments of the day or just put your guys's name tags like on this wall so at least you guys can be a bit more part of this world and a part of the videos as well so hopefully we can get these walls filled up with comments because that means we would have successfully done loads and loads of episodes <laughs> but yeah uh, I want to take a little break from building right now so what I'm going to do is actually go and try to find some obsidian and then we're going to go to the nether we might be able to get enough obsidian just for mining this broken portal oh yeah we've got plenty perfect There we go, we got nine obsidian. I'm only farming nine because we got another one in our chest back at home. And yes, if you guys are wondering, I am going to be doing a comment of the day. So feel free to keep leaving some comments, guys, so you can be next on the new wall. MLG water bucket. Ow. Almost. <laughs> no, my farm. No. <laughs> oh, no, what have I done? Ah, oh, I just replanted all of this as well. Oh, see me. And there we go. We're going into the nether. Oh, that's good for getting ender pearls. That would be really, really good, actually. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. Nether fortress right there. That is insane. Oh, I'm so pleased with this. That means we don't have to go around looking for stuff. If you guys are wondering why I wanted to come to the nether, it's not to fight those guys. But I did want to come here so I can get some glowstone because I think that could be a very good addition to pop behind our chests in our loot room. Oh, that's not good. Ah! Oh, I hate these things. I hate them so much. Oh, that's annoying. Whilst we're here, we might as well do a bit of training. 
It's kind of a safe spot over here unless there's a hoglin that's going to drop on my head from over here. <laughs> I did notice though, there is another fortress right over here. I don't think it's the same one because the other one's quite far away that way. Unless they're connected, then it's a very, very big fortress. But this is such a good never seed. Well, that was terrible trading. I didn't get any ender pearls unless there's some in there. And it doesn't look like it, no. Damn, that's annoying. Oh well. I guess what I want to do now though is actually go and check out that fortress over there. <laughs> this is probably one of the most scuffed bridges I've ever made. I'm just using every block I have just to get across to this <laughs> this um, fortress over here. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're almost there though. And yeah, that'll do. Let's just drop down here. Perfect. Oh wow, look at that loot. That is insane. Three diamonds. I've never gotten that many diamonds inside one of these before. I'm really hoping to find a very good blaze spawner. One that is actually inside the fortress itself. Because right now I only saw one and it's completely outside. Do you know what? Like we got a decent amount of diamonds from that. I'm actually going to craft a diamond axe. There we go. Oh, I'm fed up of having to repair this. I need to get unbreaking on it really badly. And I can hear you from inside. So come here, mister. Have you got anything good for me? Oh my goodness. This is insane. Alright. Um, <clears throat> uh, guys, just look away for two seconds, please. Nice guy. Alright, so guys, I've pretty much finished the build. And this took way too long, to be honest. Especially for the second episode. I've probably done something a bit too big. But hey, it was actually quite a lot of fun to build. And also, if you have noticed, I do have a geode right here. So I thought what we should do really is just put a big window so that you can actually see it. Because it looks kind of cool in here. Maybe we can even do some more decorations over there in the future. If you're wondering why there's a big blank wall, that's because I've got something planned to put on this wall in the future. But this won't be in this episode now. It'll have to be in another episode because it's going to require quite a few resources to build. I will give you a hint though, it does use maps. And yeah, so if you guys did uh, actually like this build, please leave it in the comments below. And uh, like I promised, we have started the wall of comments of the day. And uh, the comment is from Carl Imagines. A sweet first episode, bro. Plenty of cool spots around. And I love how you use the barrels for the dock posts. So thank you very much, Carl, for the comment. And if you guys want to be on the wall, feel free to leave a nice comment in the comment section below. And uh, apart from that, that's pretty much it from me. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.